Good morning. Welcome to Prayer and Coffee for a Wednesday, midweek morning. Isaiah 51, verse 8. My righteousness will be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Psalm 103, 17, 18. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear Him, and His righteousness to children's children, to such as keep His covenant, to those who remember His commandments to do them. We have these generational promises from the Lord for our children and their children, but they are promises we often have to claim through prayer. In Luke fifteen seventeen, well, when He came to Himself... That last verse is from the story of the prodigal son. Before he came home, before he even thought of coming home, he came to himself. He realized where he was and where he needed to be. We seem to live in a generation of prodigals, a prodigal nation, if you will. Raised in godly homes, raised in church, many at one time had a fervent relationship with the Lord. But now they are far from home following the dreams and ambitions of a culture around them and caught up in a lost generation, lost themselves. Ruth Graham said, Prodigals are not limited in gender, race, age, or color, but they have one thing in common. They have left home, and they are missed. Jesus said, John 6, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. Jeremiah 31, 3, The Lord has appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Let's pray. Father, we pray for today for the prodigals of family and friends and for all the prodigals of our home church, Community Haven. Lord, for every church. They are far from you and they need to come home. And they need us to pray. They need us to pray now more than ever, and you alone can help us to do that. Help us. Teach us, Lord Jesus. Help us to pray every day, throughout the day. Fill us with your Spirit, and let your love flow through us and our prayers into the lives of the prodigals who are so far from Father's house. Like the widow who kept coming to the judge's door until her request was answered, help us to persevere in praying day and night until we see our prodigals come home. Jesus, you said that everything is possible for those who believe. We do believe. We pray with the Father of Mark 9, Lord, we believe, help us in our unbelief and save our prodigals. I thank you right now for what you are doing to rescue them from the dominion of darkness, for what you are doing to bring them into your kingdom of light. I believe that you will do this because we live by faith and not by sight. And I believe that you will do this because you have promised it in your word. And your word says that from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children. We thank you for the eternal encouragement you alone can give. You are God and you answer prayer. Your love never fails. You have brought my own prodigal heart home at different times. And I thank you that you will do the same for the prodigals from Community Haven and, Lord, from every church in our nation. I love you, O Lord, my strength. And I praise you for bringing prodigals home. In Jesus Christ's powerful name, amen.